Is there anything in particular that you're like, okay, I think people should really stick to these critical things to lower HbA1c? Not everyone is cut out for fasting, right? But I do think that having very clear defined gaps between meals is one of the most important things that we can do. I think when you look at how you know the pancreas functions from an enzyme level, from a beta cell level, even alpha cell and islet cells, I mean, we have to give our organs a break. Like we have to. You're looking at a relative sort of pancreatic exhaustion and beta cell fatigue, right? The beta cells that produce insulin, they will overwork themselves to try to keep up. Those cells can recover, they can regenerate, but they need breaks. I still think, believe it or not, apple cider vinegar from an acetyl coenzyme A, that kind of piece, has some profound effects at, at modulating blood sugar and HbA1c, but it has to come along with a healthy diet, right? I think it's not a magic pill. Basic stuff, I think that sleep deprivation or just crappy sleep is probably one of the biggest drivers of insulin resistance, at least in the in, in the short term, in the acute phase. I mean, we've all kind of seen that literature there that it's like one night of bad sleep. I mean, it can be like a 30% difference. I mean, it's pretty wild. 